Uh-oh, I better hurry this up. Guys, I can't take my dog to the park anymore. The ducks keep biting him. He's a purebred. Mike with Iceberg Gaming here. Today's World of Warcraft Gold Farming Guide video is an oldie but a goodie. Today we are on the Eastern Kingdoms in the Western Plaguelands, and we are farming iron ore, lined weed, uh, Cadgar's Whisker, Fade Leaf, uh, some Life Fruit. Mostly we're after the iron ore and the blind weed. Now you're going to want to be at least uh, like 225 uh, um, regular classic herbalism, otherwise you're going to get these pieces of uh, the blind weed instead of the actual blind weave itself. Blind weed, and it's worth much less. So this farm is going to be much more than the amount I got here because of that, because I'm getting these pieces, uh, the stems, instead of the actual herbs. That being said, I earned, uh, oops, this is still running. I, I earned almost 5,000 gold in around 15 minutes, which puts this at close to 20,000 gold per hour where I am right now. So I would estimate if you have the appropriate skill level, you're looking at probably closer closer to 25,000 gold per hour, which is not too shabby. This is especially good because uh, you don't have to have Dragon Isles expansion to do this. I know a lot of people have been asking about farms without Dragon Isles lately. So if you don't have the expansion, you can do this farm as well. It's also uh, probably good for Classic and uh, Wrath Classic as well because it's an old world. I think Blizzard is trying to tell me something here. Next, I'm going to go over the route for this farm, which is a little bit more complicated than usual, but first, a word from today's sponsor. As I am super excited to announce the first official partner of Iceberg Gaming, Jerky Pro. If you love beef jerky, try Jerky Pro. Link in the description. They've got tons of delicious flavors, including my surprise favorite, apple cinnamon. Mmm, that's good stuff. As a special special thank you to all you guys for all the support, I've got 5% off with the code ICEBERG, all lowercase, at checkout. Or just use the link in the description and your discount will be applied automatically. Jerky Pro is a low-fat, high-protein snack, great for gamers. It's USDA and FDA approved, certified organic and made in the USA. Jerky Pro, the go-to snack choice for athletes and pro gamers alike. So for this farm, we've got kind of a two-pronged route here. The first one, this uh, smaller circle here, is our primary route. This is where you're going to find a lot of the blind weed. You'll also be going through the mountains here to get a bunch of iron ore. This area is very good for the iron ore. So we're going to do this route here. Um, but unfortunately, this is such a small route that the herbs and ore are not going to respawn. That's where this bigger route comes in. So we'll probably do this route once and then come through and zigzag through this big route here. This allows the blind weed to respawn. It also gets us a bunch more iron ore, which is one of the most expensive things you're going to get on here. You might also get some gold and silver in here, uh, and you'll pick up some of the fade leaf and Cadgar's whiskers in here as well uh, for a little bit extra gold. It's not nearly as expensive as the blind weed or the iron ore, but uh, we're letting the blind weed and iron ore respawn by doing this. There's also a little bit of life fruit down here and some strangle kelp in the water. Uh, depending on the prices at the time you're doing this farm, you might want to stop and grab those. Otherwise, uh, usually they're a little cheaper, so you might want to skip them, especially the strangle kelp. So that is the route. This is one of my old standbys that when I'm in the mood to do some farming is one I definitely add to my rotation, and I think you should add it to your rotation as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.